guys. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded footballs on, so you might hear my dad talking. <laughs> Sorry about that, and don't worry, I'm checking scores every now and then. As you can see, you may already know if you've seen some of my older videos, but I do like the Seahawks and the Washington Huskies. You'll see it pop up in a minute. The Huskies are playing tonight. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're winning. We lost against Auburn. All right, sorry, it's not a football channel. So today I'm showing you how to run programs that have a date, like a trial. Like, for example, if you have a program that um <clears throat> that has a three-day limit, and then you then it makes you either pay or pay or buy, and you can uninstall it and reinstall it again. It still shows up, and the reason is because it le it leaves over files that log it and log the date and the time so it knows if you used it. What this does, run as date, um, that can, basically what it does is w when you run it, you open it and you find a software and it makes that software things on their time by actually modifying the files. And it doesn't change your computer time, don't worry, so that'll stay the same. It just changes what time the program thinks it is. So you can basically have a um, repeated or endless trial. So, yeah, I don't guarantee that it'll keep your files. If you have a game or something, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, and you know, it's not gonna work on everything. Some people are smart enough to find ways around this. So don't expect it to work on everything. It's a very small file. It's a uh, yeah, and it's quick and easy to download. You have a slow internet connection. So I have this opened up right here. Um, so what you're going to want to do, well, let me show you how to do it first of all. So you're going to want to go to nursoft.net and, um, hold on. Sorry about that. nursoft.net. And what you're going to want to do is go to the Google, let me, you see I did it right here. Google custom search and type in run as date search and ignore, um, all these ads right here. Just go right here. Run a program. Sorry, that's my phone. ESPN. <laughs> run a state. Click this. And so, so we know all this. Ignore all this unless you want to know. Um. So these two, it's not really a big deal. In case you don't already know, I'm sure you do. But let me go ahead and tell you if you want. Alright, <clears throat> so to check if your system is 64-bit or 64-base, you're going to want to go go to here, this PC, right-click, that was my dad, hit properties, properties, and go to system type, and then, yep, 64-bit operating system or 64-bit based processor. If you do, if that's what it says. Then download this. If it doesn't, or it says 32 or x86, hit run as date on this one. It doesn't really matter. I think this will still work if you're 64, but you know, just if you have it, click on that. So I already downloaded it. It'll be in a zip, a WinRAR, a RAR file. I'm sorry. And then you can extract that to wherever you need. Make sure you extract all the files, which I believe it's just this one. My dad's in the background. So, um, yeah. And then once you do that, so I extracted it to my desktop, as you can see. Um, you're just going to double click on it. And as you can see, we already picked something. Um, it's called Knox. Right here, if you see, you look at my cursor. You see it on my desktop right here. It's just an Android emulator, but anyways, so you, you, you pick your EXE, the launcher, so you don't pick this anyone you see. So if you guys want a certain, I mean, for, for the five people that watch, if you want to know a certain program, how do I do that, just put a comment and I will try to get the program and make a specific video on that to show you how I do it. But you just want to get the EXE file, the launcher one. So this is Nox right here. I went to the exe launcher file open that and you can and this is where you can change the date today's the 16th I'll say pretend I started a trial on the 6th 
you can even set up to the second. I'm just gonna say I started it at uh, 10 p.m. And then immediate mode changes the daily meal. I normally one that won't do that. I mean, it's not like it'll have ever anything bad, but if it doesn't work, try that. Um, it's my dad. And then if that doesn't work, I guess there is one more thing. Try run as administrator if the program needs to be, and then hit yes. Or, so, um, yeah. And then you can even create a desktop shortcut that will run this date every time, which I think is a really neat feature. So if I put Knox date and hit So now every time I run this one it'll set it to that date. Now Knox doesn't need a trial, I'm just making an example. But um Knox is always free. But anyway, so you can do that and then hit run. Or run as an administrator if run doesn't work. So yeah, that's just about it. Um, hope you like my new intro. It's kind of more <laughs> laid back. I haven't uploaded in a while. And by the way, this is a new computer. I got a new HP laptop. With, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, hope you like this video. And what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm actually using my phone's microphone to wirelessly transmit audio over, over our Wi-Fi. And it sounds, because my phone, my phone's microphone is not that bad, so if there's a few glitches, that's because the Wi-Fi is a little bit slow, there's a lot of people using it, and we're screaming videos, so. Um, if you want to know how to use your phone's uh, microphone over Wi-Fi to your computer, or Bluetooth, or USB, let me know, and I'll show you how to do that, and I have some more videos coming up soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, I'm using OBS Studio, by the way. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe, catch you guys next time. See you later.